मेडिकल टून अप टू न्यू नॉलेज टू हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी Hello Mr Mukesh I'm Dr Ramesh and I'll be taking your case today as Dr Ramesh present the case our patient Mr Mukesh 58 year old presents with retrosternal chest pain for 6 hours the pain was gradually in onset it is sharp in nature radius to his neck worsens with cough and lying down and is relieved upon leaning forward there is no associated nausea diaphoresis or dyspnea He was diagnosed with diabetes and hypertension 7 years ago which are well controlled no other comorbid conditions are present on general examination patient is afebrile no pala is present he is not diaphoretic pulse 120 beats per minute regular no pulses paradox bp 150 by 90 mm of mercury jp not elevated on cvs examination apex beat not deviated normal heart sounds no murmur biphasic pericardial friction rub is present lungs are clear abdomen no abnormalities are found so what's your differential diagnosis of acute chest pain acute chest pain may be because of cardiac causes such as acute coronary artery syndrome aortic dissection acute pericarditis and as well as uh, non cardiac causes such as uh, acute pulmonary embolism or pneumothorax so do you think acute pulmonary embolism or pneumothorax can be the cause of chest pain in this patient so acute pulmonary embolism has a wide clinical spectrum of presentation and cannot be definitely diagnosed or excluded clinically however the absence of risk factors such as immobilization recent surgeries or previous episode of venous thrombosis is against this diagnosis so pneumothorax is unlikely as most patient manifest some degree of dyspnea while the chest pain is typically sudden in onset both of the conditions are ruled out so what's a provisional diagnosis so point in favor of acute coronary artery syndrome includes the presence of diabetes and hypertension which are risk factors for ischemic heart disease however the lack of history of angina is against this diagnosis and when coming to aortic dissection is unlikely in aortic dissection patient may describe the pain as uh, severe and tearing in nature while they are often are associated with the syncope dyspnea or neurological findings due to carotid artery obstruction or spinal cord ischemia so the chest pain in this patient is characteristically postural that is patient describes that it worsens with cough and lying down and is relieved upon leaning forward which explains as lying down causes the heart to rest upon the posterior pericardium while bending forward it relieves this as in this patient in addition the presence of pericardial friction rub is further suggestive of acute pericarditis thus acute pericarditis is the probable clinical diagnosis so how you would like to proceed with the case what are the investigation would like to do so i'd like to perform an ecg and echocardiography would you not do troponin t No sir because it is of limited diagnostic value a positive result may be caused by any one of the following like uh, acute pericarditis acute coronary artery syndrome or pulmonary embolism while a negative result does not rule out these diagnoses so i would like not to prefer it sir so what are the findings you got on ecg and echo dual lead ecg shows diffuse pr segment depression and upwardly concave st segment elevation both of which are suggestive of pericarditis that is acute in nature note that pr segment depression is almost pathognomonic of acute pericarditis as the only other cause is atrial ischemia which is a very rare condition his echocardiogram shows a mild pleuritic effusion which may be secondary to pericarditis in addition the absence of wall motion abnormalities rules out acute coronary artery syndrome and the normal appearance of aorta rules out dissection Thus the final diagnosis is acute pericarditis as this may be a manifestation of underlying systemic disease i would like to investigate for the etiology of the conditions and treat the patient accordingly so what if all the tests of acute pericarditis came negative sir in majority of cases no etiological causes can be found with the patient of acute pericarditis such cases are termed idiopathic acute pericarditis 
So, idiopathic acute pericarditis is the likely diagnosis. Okay, so if it is a idiopathic pericarditis, how do you treat it? Treatment with an NSAID will both relieve pain and reduce inflammation and the small pericardial effusion which was seen on echocardiogram would not require any aspiration, sir. That was a good presentation, Dr. Ramesh. Keep it up. Thank you, sir.